The very statement that talking about NASA is pandering omits, omits the fact that NASA drives our economy. The, the culture of NASA drives the culture of innovation, and it's the culture of innovation that drives the economies of the 21st century. That's what it's missing. Even if there's pork spending on NASA, even if there's pork, what comes out of that spending benefits the nation in ways that a power plant or a bridge or a local road does not. I'm just, I can be honest about that. Even if some of you can't, because you're in it, you're too close, you got, I can say it and I'm saying it. And you know what happens? The jobs do not go overseas. You don't have to set up tax benefits. They don't go overseas because we're innovating and they haven't figured out how to do it yet. It has to stay here in America. And you have to keep innovating. They'll eventually catch up, fine, hand it to them. You can't simultaneously assert that we are a global economy and then cry foul if a corporation takes a plant overseas where the labor's cheaper. That's kind of part of how that works. So the solution is not trying to just prevent that with laws. You innovate so that it doesn't happen in the first place. Teacher training? We need that. It is a necessary but insufficient condition to make this happen. You can have an awesome teacher in middle school, high school. Now you want to become a scientist. You come out the other end of that educational pipeline, what do you do? We lost an entire generation of these smart people. They became like investment bankers lawyers out of the 1980s and 90s because there's no place for them to take their interest in science. If you have big, bold, ambitious projects, you get them all. Especially since the NASA science portfolio involves biologists. We're looking for life. It's got chemists, geologists, astrophysicists, physicists. The NASA portfolio touches all of these. Not only that, we need the electrical engineers, the mechanical engineers, the structural engineers. NASA is a one agency showdown. If we have an innovation culture, We'll resurrect some of that attitude we all had in the 1960s.